Hello guys. In this video, we will discuss sex determination in grasshopper. The sex determination in grasshopper is different uh, as from human beings. In grasshopper, the grasshopper uses the XX and X0 sex chromosome determination system. XX and X0. In case of grasshopper, when the zygote receives two X chromosomes, it will develop into female. But if the zygote receives only one sex chromosome, one X chromosome, it will develop into male. So here, X0. Now let's discuss what the X and 0 means. X0 means the male grasshopper, in case of male grasshopper, there is only one sex chromosome X and 0 signifies the lack of another sex chromosome. Male grasshopper carry a single sex chromosome, only X, an X chromosome and are considered as X0. The 0 signifies the lack of second X chromosome. So the male grasshopper is having only one sex chromosome X. The other uh, uh, the other member, other X chromosome is lacking. And what about female? In case of grasshopper female, the female is having two X chromosomes, a pair of X chromosomes. So female grasshoppers, however, are X, X and carry two X chromosomes. So in case of grasshopper, the male carry only one X chromosome and female carry two X chromosomes. Now the mechanism here we will discuss the mechanism of sex determination in grasshopper. Parents, male grasshopper having 22 autosomes, 22 autosomes and only one X chromosome. So the number, chromosomal number of male in case of grasshopper is 23. Female. The female is having 22 autosomes and a pair of sex chromosomes. Both are X and X. So the chromosomal number in case of female of grasshopper 24. Male 23, female 24. In case of male 22 are the autosomes and only one X chromosome. In case of female 22 are the autosomes and there are the two X chromosomes. Now gametes. In case of male, there is a process of spermatogenesis. In case of female, there is a process of oogenesis. And meiosis is the important part that reduces the diploid number into haploid number. Now, sperms are produced by male grasshopper and eggs are produced by female grasshopper. Look at the sperms. Now, the sperms produced by male grasshopper in meiosis and eggs produced by female grasshopper in a process called oogenesis. Now look at the first sperm, meiosis. As you know there are 22 autosomes, 11 goes to this sperm and the remaining 11 goes to this sperm. Now the autosomes are halved. Out of 22 autosomes, 11 goes to one sperm and 11 goes to another sperm. But here you see there is only one sex chromosome X. So this X chromosome will go to one sperm. If the suppose this sperm, this sperm gets this X chromosome, now it is having 12 chromosomes. 11 are the autosomes and only one is the X chromosome. The other receives none of the sex chromosome because the other sex chromosome is lacking. So zygote, sorry, sperms in case of male are two types of sperms, one with 12 chromosomes and other with 11 chromosomes. This sperm is lacking a sex chromosome, but this sperm is having a sex chromosome. So the male is heterogamous, producing two types of sperm, one with 12 chromosomes, other with 11 chromosomes. So the male is heterogametic. Hetero means different, gametes means gametes, an individual that produces different types of gametes. One sperm having 12 sperms, uh, sorry, 12 uh, chromosomes and the other with 11 chromosomes. Now, in case of female, as you know, the autosomal number is 22. 11 autosomes goes to in this sperm, in which process? Meiosis, as it reduces the number of chromosomes. And similarly, the 11 autosomes goes to this egg. 
Now the autosomes are half. 11 goes to 1 egg, 11 goes to, and here you see there is a pair of sex chromosomes. So the one X will go to this egg, and the second X will go to this egg. Now this X goes to one egg, and the second X goes to another egg. Now she produces two similar eggs, one with 12, the other with 12, 11 autosomes, one X chromosome, 11 autosomes, one X chromosome. So in case of grasshopper, the female is homogametic, producing same types of eggs. One with 12 chromosome, other with. Now look at the possible zygotes. If in first zygote, this sperm contributes 12 chromosomes. 11 autosomes and 1 sex chromosome X and female contributes this egg. So what will be the number of chromosomes in this zygote? You see 22 plus XX 11 autosomes comes from sperm 11 comes from egg 1 X comes from this sperm and 1 X comes from this egg. Now the zygote will develop into female 24. In case of grasshopper, when a zygote receive a pair of two sex chromosomes, it will be the female. Look at the second zygote. If male contributes this sperm and female contributes this egg, what will be the chromosomal number? Again, 22 plus XX. 11 autosomes are contributed, uh, contributed by this sperm, 11 autosomes are contributed by this egg. And 1x comes from this sperm, 1x comes from this egg. Again, the zygote will be, uh, uh, the zygote will develop into a female. But if this zygote, look at this zygote, and this sperm is contributed having no sex chromosome, it is having only 11 autosomes, and this combines with this egg. Now, see what will be the chromosomal number. 22 plus only 1x, 11 autosomes comes from this sperm, 11 from this egg, 22 autosomes are resumed. But only x because the sperm has not contributed any sex chromosome, that x comes from only the egg. Now 23, as you know, it is the number of male and 1x, zygote with 1x will develop into a male. And similarly, look at the last zygote, if this sperm is contributed by male, and this is sperm, this egg is contributed by female. What will be the chromosomal number? 22 plus X. 11 autosomes are contributed by this sperm, 11 by this egg. Only one X is inherited by the egg, and none comes from none, none of the sex chromosome comes from the sperm. So again, it will be the male. So in case of sex uh, grasshopper, there is a system of XX and X0. A zygote with two X chromosomes develops into female and zygote with only one sex chromosome, X chromosome develops into a male. Thank you.